So I love sci-fi movies and I also love terrible movies. So I thought why not combine the two and watch terrible sci-fi movies. So today I'm watching the 1970 film Hercules in New York. I know Arnold Schwarzenegger is in it. That's all I really know about it. I'm assuming a character named Hercules will be involved in New York. I'm assuming it'll be a very literal title. I haven't seen a ton of Arnold movies. I think this might be the earliest film I've seen of his. I don't know if this is his first movie or when he started acting, but I'm excited to watch more of his films. I just watched Terminator so you can check out that reaction video as well. I know Arnold's usually known for action movies so that's kind of what I'm anticipating. Thank you so much for sharing in this first time watching with me. If you have any other suggestions for sci-fi movies you think I should watch please comment below and if you want to have a say in what movies or tv shows I watch be sure to join Patreon and as always please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel and check back often for more awesome content. lives in peace, Mars must go where he's called. I only want to browse around. <laughs> I only want to browse around. Of the same old faces, the same old things. Tired or not, you're staying here. He's like, but dad, I want to go to Earth. Come on. I'm Hercules. Come on, you got to let me go. Oh, this is fun music. Arnold Stagg? Who's Arnold Stang? And Arnold Strong? What? Oh, there's a Tanny in this movie. Apparently it is a real name. Who knew? Tanny McDonald. I feel like uh, Arnold has said more in this opening scene than he did in all of Terminator. Hot-headed. He does not mean to oppose your wishes. Mind your own business, Venus. <laughs> so rude. You are trying my patience, Hercules. You are trying mine. Heed my. Did his pecs just flex? Flex? Why, you offensive puppy! Perhaps this will teach you respect for your elder. Zeus is gonna blast him with the arrow. Whoa! He blasted him. He killed. He's only a spoiled youth, Zeus. Save him. Hercules is your son. Forgive him. Oh my God! They're literally like bowing at his feet. How much trouble it would cause me! I'd have thought twice when I met his mother on my vacation. <laughs> oh my! Oh, he's flying commercial. Okay, sure. Why not? Or is this how we met his mom? Oh my god! Hercules! I just saw a man. <laughs> I love this. Airplane. No, outside. He was flying. Outside? I don't know what drug she's on, but... And, and he was he was naked, and he was just going oh. down, oh. flying. Here, <laughs> have some oxygen. <laughs> You're hallucinating. <laughs> He's in the sea now. He will drown. Save him, great Zeus. This ball is going to show him where he is on Earth. To overcome a son of Zeus. Save him, Zeus. Save Hercules. Save this acting. Oh, my. I have done so. <laughs> Come on. The horizon of the sea. Yes, I love it. It's the worst, but I, I can't stop watching. Shit. From which you were blown overboard. In Olympus. There's a great freighter by that name out of this here. I was gonna say that probably actually is a ship name. Democratic. You're addressing the captain of the ship. Now you say sir to me. He's like, I don't deal well with male figures of authority. Where's the ship bound for? New York. He's like, great, never been. Oh my, well, I love how he's just like a temperamental teenager. He's like, I wanna go, Dad, let me go. And now he's just turning the shipyard into his personal gym. Oh my. Like, we're gonna give you a toque, but no shirt. Oh my, these POV shots. Oh, bonked him. Okay, I'm with you, boy. Better, better forget it. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, okay. Why do we need this fist POV? It's definitely bad, but I still love it. The audio design's so bad. Like, half the time it doesn't seem like Arnold's character is actually, like, wearing a microphone. Oh my, hello, sailor. Hercules goes where he wishes. Never Speaks in third person quite frequently. Yo, Hercules! Come back here! It's like, you're not the boss of me, you're not my dad. 
20 bucks for the first man that flattens him. Why are they trying to catch him? Like, they don't know him. Why do they care if he leaves? He definitely took his hat off in the previous shot also. Oh, yeah, here we go. This is fun music. Let me threaten you with this giant board. They add in just like Greek music because he's Hercules. <laughs> oh, bonked him. You ever been afraid of a piece of wood before? Yes, my thoughts exactly. Box him. <laughs> oh, box him again. <laughs> I love that they probably made these poor actors actually jump into that water. Oh, his sweater! He's my favorite sweater! Is this gonna be the whole movie? Just him fighting randoms in the street? Oh, it just breaks it across his chest. Why does he need this? What? Fine chariot! But where are the horses? <laughs> Just needs to prove how strong he is every day. Yeah, get in the cab with this nice pretzel, man. Hercules not have money. Gods. Yeah, well, I get him from a bakery in Brooklyn, you know, called Food from the Gods Bakery. <laughs> oh my god. Well, now, ain't that something? A mistake. Alone in New York City with no money. But he's Hercules, so he thinks that'll get him everywhere. I, wait, okay, call a cop. Not before I have some fun by taking out your eyes, I ain't. I, I ain't, I ain't. Oh, you picked the wrong guy to try and beat up. Oh, tossed him right into the bushes. Oh my god, he's gonna toss his car? Can he really do that? Is he actually that strong? He just flipped a whole car? Cue the Greek music. We gotta go. Hercules the Pretzel Man are on the loose. Guys happen to be champions. Ha. Nobody can beat them. Ha. Hey, wait, wait. Ha, ha. Hercules laughs at the face of these athletes. Ha, ha. Would you like me to instruct them? No, it's just for college guys. No outsiders allowed. I am Hercules. He's like, I don't know why you keep trying to stop me. I'm just gonna do whatever I want anyway with my denim on denim and sweater combo. I like how he came to Earth just to do different athletic feats and beat people up and flip cars. And they bought one song for the entire movie. He's like, wow, I'm so proud. If my dad could see me now. Oh. I mean, stop talking. Demonstrate. All right. I love this guy's reactions. They're so bad. So overdone. Oh my. Let me untuck my shirt. Oh, taking the shirt off entirely. Okay, here we go. He's like, I didn't work this hard to, you know, do athletics with my shirt on. I think a drinking game for this movie is every time he flexes his pec muscle. Certainly, if you wish me to. Wish you? Brother, I'm begging you. Oh my. He's like, well, I'm not going to turn down an opportunity to show off how athletic I am. And you just see their reactions. Well, around four then. Hmm? Great. And bring your friend along. He gives him his card. We don't even know what business he's in, but he's like, oh, come to tea at four. I'll bring that one with you. Won't you be seated? Oh, thank you. My father should be here any minute. <laughs> he's like, let me sit closer to you and stare at you and not talk to you. Really? Someone you know? A goddess. A goddess. I remind you of a goddess? Not the worst line I've ever heard. On you. Maybe you do things differently where you come from, but that is not the way we talk to a dame here, that's all. I still can't believe how young Arnold looks in this, it's crazy. Hi, fellas. Hello. How you doing? How you doing? Hey, what's happening? Is he your lover? Well, that's one way to ask that question. Hey, mister, watch your talk. I can hear my dog. I cannot watch it. <laughs> it's not wrong. Damn! Really? You're is this what, like, Hercules versus college athletics? 
Oh my god, he's just scooping him up. It's like, I throw a taxi, I throw you. Are you homesick? I am having too much fun. This horse-drawn carriage through New York. How did he pay for this? What are we doing? Are you just tell the guy I'm Hercules and you'll give him a free ride? Oh my. The young men must see the world, so they say. This is what I told him. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, you just get me. 600 pound grizzly bear. Take caution with animal. Known to be surly and dangerous. Same. Same, same. <laughs> There's no way that that is even a bear. Come on. Come on. It's supposed to be a brown bear. They didn't even get the color right. When I was a little girl, I used to read all about it. And the gods and goddesses who were supposed to live on top of it. And I believe that's the fakest bear I've ever seen. <laughs> Oh my god, yes! Ferocious bear! I'm convinced the plot of this movie is just him going into different situations where he gets to prove how strong he is because he's fully gonna attack this bear. Yeah, that's what he's gonna do. <laughs> rawr, I'm a bear! Rawr, rawr, rawr. He's on two paws, not even on all fours! Oh, he's just attacking a bear now, yep. Welcome to New York City. Beat him up, she's encouraging this? Oh my god. Let's give him the old fisticuffs. Cheese and crackers. Bonked him. I <laughs> love the bear. <laughs> I love the over exaggerated screams like she's just witnessing a horrific murder. Oh, and now passing out. Okay, thank you for your contribution to the scene. Oh, he just picked up the whole bear. Not a scratch on him, though, B. Oh, he was slapping him. Bear slaps. Okay. This poor guy in the bear suit. Thank you for apprehending this ferocious grizzly bear with your bare hands. Yes. Oh, man. <laughs> And, uh, he brought us a proposition. I love all these guys are just like, we see your strength, how can we exploit it for profit? Get you into wrestling. That's the red tape. Sign your name. Fat Lips and Nitro and me will take care of everything. Fat Lips and Nitro. They're pushing out Mr. Pretzel here. What are gonna do for him except stand in his way? And that don't fit in with my plans. Yeah. Wow, thank god that guy's there to whisperly yell yeah and ever to his ear. The shaking usually comes after the drinking, not before. It's like, oh, I'll read this uh, interesting novel about Hercules. Maybe I'll learn more about his character. But Hercules strangled them with his hands. I remember that scene from the cartoon version of Hercules where he like, I think he like bashes their heads together. I wonder if Arnold ever plays like a human character. I haven't seen a ton of his movies, but he's playing very much like outer worldly characters with a cyborg and Terminator. Now he's a Greek god. Maybe that just plays into his very static and stiff performances is that he's not playing human characters so he doesn't need to have like human emotions. He just needs to remember his lines basically. I would speak with Nemesis. Oh my, cue the fog. Hello, Nemesis. Wonder what her intentions are, huh? Hold your anger against Hercules. He means no harm. He is simple and a bit childish. <laughs> well, accurate. Give Nemesis her task. Yes, oh Zeus, heed Mercury's plea. Why can't they talk to him when they're standing up? Why do they have to be kneeling? I have spoken. Wow, thank you. We were very much aware. I also love how the set for this is definitely just in like a regular park and they put up some like benches and fake plants and like a three foot red carpet. That is not Hercules. And who is it? Hercules against the monster? Is that an actual movie? Comment below and let me know. So seriously. He doesn't even look like me. Look. Hey, what, what are you doing? Any excuse to pop the shirt off. Stop joking. I mean, I, I think, I think, I think we ought to 
gotta go. Insolent. He's like, how dare they use my name in vain? Who is this guy? Who is this imposter? I know there's a few other like Hercules versus or Hercules and movies. So yeah, comment below if that's an actual movie. Yeah. Boy like this. Well, you have the oddest sense of humor. <laughs> I don't know whether you're joking or not. I think he's never joking. Okay. Does Mount Olympus have film developing? I love how he's just become a tourist. This is fun. This is fun. This reminds me of Dark City. I haven't seen one of these in like another movie. I don't know if those kids are actually extras or just <laughs> went up to him. I have no idea where this movie is going. It's definitely bad and I feel like it's just... It's literally just Hercules and you- Oh! Slips, trips, and falls. Oh, that would have been bad. I don't know if that was supposed to happen. Your confidence could be ruinous. I'm going to take a shower. <laughs> I'm done with this conversation. I need to wash. And drunk pretzel man in the corner. Green. Just listening to their conversation. Clearly in the same room. They're not even acknowledging him. Oh, a group shower. Okay. I'm to stay here for a while. Farewell, then. I carry your words back to Olympus with a heavy heart. <laughs> and the words are, no, I'm staying. Screw you, Dad. Goodbye, my half-brother. Let me jump out this window and escape back to Mount Olympus. He's like, oh, also say hi to Venus for me while you're up there. <laughs> yes! Just launched himself out of the window. Amazing. He, 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 Oh. Is Hercules gonna get drunk for the first time? Oh my. I'm gonna tuck him in. So cute. Takes his glasses off. Even if he did crack two of my ribs. A Greek peasant with delusions of mythological divinity. I'm not sure what these guys' attention is with Hercules. I've seen it. I've seen it. Oh my. Imagine. He, he opens up. I see. Pretzel man is losing it. He dares to temporize with me? I'll blast him! She's like, yes, yes, I hate that child. Yes. <laughs> now she's sending Nemesis. What is so deadly about this Nemesis? With that lecher. Pluto is the king of all evil pleasures. Oh my, a spicy king. Then he will become as other men. No better. She's gonna drug Hercules and make him fully mortal. Make a little detail. I have a message for you. She's like, bring me back one of those little, uh, you know, New York statues. I want a souvenir. I feel like this is a pretty big deviation from the Greek mythology. She's just uh, drugging his drink with this powder from a ring. Will he even know that he's becoming mortal? Or like, how, how do you test that theory, basically? I only punish. She understands that, of course. <laughs> Where are they hanging out? Like the world's smokiest graveyard? Like, come on. And what she can't accomplish by one means. Like, we need to evil scheme, so let's go stand by this gate and we'll cue the fog. Yes, let me get my scheming hands together. Yes. He just turns off the lights wherever he goes. He turned off all of New York City is dark now. Oh my. World with a moment happened involuntarily to be the recipients of my hospitality. What is it to me? Why is there just four lit candles in this room? Like one in each corner. They didn't turn the lamp on, but they've individually lit four candles placed around the corners. Rosie Parker. Why, did you happen to notice how dark it was? So, is this you doing? Mm -hmm. Because he's the evil guy that like turns off all the lights. That's why there's candles. I'm not afraid of you. You should be. Oh my. Terrific. How many people touched Arnold's chest in this movie? Try. You can try. Listen to He's really gonna compare? Come on. Why would you set yourself up like that? I'll see you again sometime. 
and you run down. I feel like I'll be back would have been a better line for that. And he takes his top hat and cane and just disappears into this red fog. Oh my god. Yeah. See, we recognize him by the briefcase he'd be carrying. Here he comes. It's like, how can I use these gangsters to my advantage? And, uh, it's a lot of dough. You figure this guy knows something we don't know? You think? You think why would he be making such a high bet? Come on. He's a long shot plunger. Although <laughs> 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 on his trip to New York, he meets gangsters, a black bear, a brown bear, pretzel man. It's like, I can't do what I need to do with the lights on. It has to be dark or four individually lit candles. There's a man with his work cut out for him. Yep. Um, Broadway scuttlebutt has it that the matter may... I love a good scuttlebutt. You'll take him all right, eh? What can stop me? Glad to hear you say that. He says with great conviction. Black losers. Ever. Very practical. So don't lose. I go, he's like, yeah, I accept your threats. You know, they seem very reasonable, logical things. Arnie is the emotional range of a rock. And whatever you do, don't get nervous. You know what I mean? I mean, j j just, just keep calm and don't strain yourself. You know. Says the nervous guy, ranting repeatedly. Monstro the Magnificent! Come on, let's give a great big hand. There he is. The fate of Hercules comes down to a televised strongman contest. Who will uh, clean and jerk barbells weighing uh, 500 pounds? 500. 500 pounds! I obviously know Arnold Schwarzenegger is involved in bodybuilding, but uh, yeah, I'm curious if this guy... 500 pounds! Oh my! 500 pounds! Hercules is like, I ate 500 pounds for breakfast. Who can lift that much? That's nuts! Ugh. Oh god! Oh, he struggles. And now Hercules the Great, seven hundred. I love also this contest consists of just the two of them, and it like it's such a fake studio. They just put a curtain. Looks like they're filming in a hospital or something. They just put a curtain up and some lights. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, a thousand pounds. When in real life would you ever need to lift that much? He's like, oh, quick pose, no big deal. Just pop those, you know, pop the guns. Did he have shoes on before? I feel like he put shoes on for this one. He's like, I am a god. How can I not lift this? If only someone hadn't poisoned my drink, it made me temporarily mortal. <laughs> The Herc and Jerk. Oh! And for Hercules, a real effort on He's like, I hate losing. I've never lost before in my life. Winner, Monstro the Magnificent! Well, your mob boss is gonna be very angry about that. I don't know. <laughs> Seem to work on. Yeah, well, uh, come on. We, we gotta get out of here. There's no time to get dressed. Come on, we'll go this way. I love how he threw his robe down. I don't know. It's a stupid hat. How then has this other thing happened? Can nobody tell me? Looking at you, Juno. Looking at you. Uh, here. Which means he ain't coming back here. Outside. Despite it being 1970, these guys are like 1950s gangsters. They're like, his duds are here. Chase them on foot, huh? It's a chariot. Chariot? What? Chariot? The chariot? What are you doing? <laughs> literal chariot from this guy dressed as Tarzan. He's like, I'm stealing a chariot. Enjoy your hot dog. Hey, come back with my chariot. I don't know why they do these POV shots. Oh my god, yes. I feel like this actually happened. Like they actually put Arnold on the back of a chariot and had him, you know, go down New York City. That ain't the way to Disneyland. He's like, why isn't this chariot faster? What a ridiculous chase sequence. He's going one way, they're going another. Driving past each other. How do you miss the man in the chariot with the horses, honestly? Where is everybody? Oh my god, he's whipping them from the car now. Cheese and rice. That's aggressive. Oh, 
Oh, a chariot broke. I don't know if that was supposed to happen or not, but here we are. If another bear freaking shows up. That monster go with my chariot. Is he chasing him with his onions this whole time? Oh my god. That's that service, you know? Chased him all the way down just to make sure he got onions on his hot dog. With me. Right. They definitely didn't spend whatever small budget they had on music, that's for sure. Is he slowly figuring out that he doesn't have his strength anymore? I beg you. It was Juno. She bade me do what I did. Yeah, just like that. Traitor. Let him abide by the consequences of his own folly and obstinacy. Quick zoom in on the crystal ball. Okay, here we go. He's just like letting him. He's like, you know what? Let him figure it out. He'll be fine. Like, I don't need to go rescue him. Thanks, Dad. What? We may send aid to Hercules. We? This whole time? You didn't think of that? Samson. Is that who these two are that showed up out of nowhere? They're supposed to be Atlas and Samson? Oh, you're just picking them up. They're both picking them up. They're just playing everybody's favorite game of toss the gangster around. How many gods does it take to take out some gangsters? Oh, he just and they're just watching like a play-by-play. -play. Oh my gosh. He just beat him over there with a ladder. Bye! Oh! He's like, I am the greatest man alive! Show disrespect for his father! Then save him, great Zeus, even if it is only because he is your son! This crystal ball is the best actor in the whole movie. He's like, oh, you're right! Right, 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 it is my son. I probably should help. Nat. Yeah, like, what is that? He's like, let me put this ladder up. A slow-mo fall. Oh my gosh. Cue the lightning. He's like, Papa, is that you? Oh, God. Oh, that seems... Well, we're in those things. Whoa! Fire torpedo! Oh, you gotta put a dime in. Forget it. So they beat the gangsters, now they're just going to this uh, Empire State Building? That looks like the boat you were on. Take a look at it, Hark. I think that's... Oh, and just like that, I was like, is he gonna stay in New York, or what's his plan? Speak now for Hercules to obey. It's like, you know what, I've had enough of New York. I'm tired of being chased by mobsters. I've seen the Empire State Building. Did a chariot ride. You know, can, I can head home. I've seen enough of the sights. Probably should have said goodbye to his only friend, though. That would have been nice. In our memory, at least, that separation may have a quiet happiness to own Huh? Hercules can talk to the radio now? What? My radio! Hey, Hey! It's me! It's, it's Pretzy! He couldn't have just said goodbye. He's like, you know what I'll do? I'll send him a cryptic radio message. Hey, we really did all them things, didn't we? Like, I, I didn't just... Oh, now we get a montage at the end of all their best friend memories. Flipping taxis. College athletics. Tossing guys into the river. Bear fights. <laughs> The time I lost at the weightlifting competition, chariot rides. Yeah. I think I'll eat an apple. What a weird way to exit out of this movie. Leave me now. I would think on what I've been told. I'm so curious what he would have told them. Father, there were bears. Like, let me take off my crown so I can think properly. Oh, he's hanging up his crown. Is that metaphorical? Is it time for Hercules to take over? Pan Am was listed as one of the sponsors in the start of the movie, and they're definitely getting their uh, second shot of their, their shot at the beginning, and now we're having a shot at the end of the film. Oh, she's seen him again. 
Except it's Zeus this time. He's like, you know what? You sold me on this whole New York situation. I'm gonna go check it out for myself. I wanna fight a bear. So that was my first time watching the 1970 film Hercules in New York with Arnold Schwarzenegger. It was definitely bad. Some parts are pretty hard to get through just because it felt boring. A lot of long shots, very slow pacing. Basically any scene when Arnold wasn't doing anything ridiculous, I was like, where are we going with this? I definitely haven't seen a movie with Arnold in it where he's this young. I haven't seen a ton of his movies. This is definitely for me the earliest of his movies that I've seen. So I don't know when he started acting this movie movie felt like they definitely wanted to try and incorporate some of his like bodybuilding, weightlifting, those types of activities into a movie and just kind of threw together this Hercules character. Definitely bad, badly produced, badly acted, just a mess all around, bad audio. Some of the shots are out of focus, um, but I love terrible movies. So despite some of the scenes being slower, it was still interesting. So I was like, what are we doing? I don't know that I would watch this again, but uh, it was definitely interesting to see where this was gonna go, what was gonna happen. It felt like they just wanted to see Arnold fight different things and have him do different, you know, athletic activities. I don't know what the budget for this was. It didn't feel high. They definitely used the same song throughout the entire movie, just like that Greek instrumental music. Um, but comment below, did this get a box office release? Are there sequels or remakes or anything like that? I know there's a few other like Hercules versus movies, but I don't know if Arnold is in all of them. I didn't recognize any of the other actors in this film. So comment below, would I know them for anything? Did they go on to do anything? I didn't recognize the writer or the director or anything like that. Definitely some funny one-liners, but I don't know if they were supposed to be intentionally funny or if it was just in Arnie's delivery and his like very stoic, static, you know, way that he performs, which might've worked to his advantage considering he wasn't supposed to be of this world, but Every other movie I've seen where the character Hercules is involved, he still has emotions. This just seemed like he was very static throughout the entire thing and had no idea what was happening, which I found pretty funny, but I don't know if that's what it was meant to be. Like even when he's telling Zeus like, oh, I just want to go browse. I want to go to earth. Like I've been here for 2000 years. Like, let me go dad. Like it felt like a teenager, you know, asking to go out with his friends or something. And he's like, let me just go explore earth. The fact that his best friend when he gets to New York is this like pretzel salesman named Pretzi. Like just like total lack of originality. And I don't know what the professor and his daughter had anything to do with it other than adding in a love interest for Hercules throughout the movie. And what was on like his business card? Like why was that necessary? What was he trying to like get him into some business? And then we saw those gangsters were exploiting him for his wrestling abilities and for his strength. And they push out Pretzi and then he starts drinking. So very few things in this movie made sense. But again, if you go into it with very low expectations. It'll probably be entertaining. Definitely the scenes with Arnold were the most hilarious for me and just the way that he conducted himself. I don't know whose idea this was. If this was Arnie's idea of being like, hey, I want to get into acting. We should make a movie about me and I can just, you know, do different things or somebody approached him with this idea. I have no idea, but I don't know how he thinks of this movie. I know he's been in a ton of movies since this came out. I feel like there was so much material in the actual Greek myth of Hercules that they could have used, but instead they went this route where he's just randomly beating people up and doesn't know how money works and can't pay for cabs, but then you know, gets on this chariot and has a date with this girl, Helen, and is just going around Central Park fighting bears, which was just insane. Like there's no way that was even close to a bear. And it was supposed to be a brown bear that escaped from the zoo. And he's definitely, and his costume is black. And just the way that the bear approached the chariot, standing up on two legs with his front paws, like batting the air, like, oh my God, just so very clearly a person in a bear costume and just so bad. And the fact that he's like fighting with Hercules, but Hercules, of course, gets no injuries. Nothing happens to him. I loved when they kept cutting to Prezi for those reaction shots. And even when they cut to Helen losing her mind in the chariot and just freaking out like she's seeing something incredibly horrific. And it's just Hercules is winning like he's not losing. This movie had zero plot. Basically, it just went from scene to scene to scene where none of it was tied together. The only real thing that had any consequence 
is when we see Hercules lose that weightlifting competition and then he ends up being chased down by the gangsters because now the gangsters are mad that they lost all this money. I don't know what that guy in like the black hat and the cane and you know turning off all the lights what that guy if he ever came back to collect his money or what that had to do with it other than you know betting against Hercules because he knew Hercules would lose but just so bizarre that room with like the four candles in it none of it made sense just go into this with a very open mind and expect nothing to actually make sense I feel like Hercules wore his shirt about 50% of the time the other times they're like oh you know there's a poster of Hercules here why don't I just take my shirt off so you can compare the poster image to me and you know oh there's playing discus in the field well I just better pop my shirt off and just I get that obviously he's very into bodybuilding and lifting it was worked very hard to achieve that physique and it's just any excuse to get his shirt off I don't know how well known Arnold was at the time if they would have been able to capitalize on his like career as a bodybuilder and now he's in a movie I have no idea I know he's been acting for a while I don't know if they were hoping they could capitalize on Arnold's like weightlifting and bodybuilding career and get him into the movie and they were hoping people would come see the movie because he's in it the scene when Hercules flips the taxi cab I was like you have you know one shot to get that done basically and I'm assuming that was real especially given the time that's terrifying that he's that strong that he could flip an entire car I feel bad for his only friend is now stuck on earth and Hercules didn't even say goodbye he just like called up his dad and was like you know what actually I'm ready to come home and like let's do this I'll actually start listening to you now and then starts talking to Prezi through the radio somehow and Prezi has the best scene exit line I've ever heard where he says I'm gonna go eat an apple and just walks off camera and that's it I wish we could have seen Hercules explain to his dad all the different things that happened to him in New York and what was the convincing factor that sent him back because we see uh, Zeus flying past past the Pan Am plane, which clearly had sponsorship deals involved in this movie. And Zeus is now heading back down to Earth. So I wonder what convinced him, whether it was the bear fights, the random uh, shipyard crew, the pretzel guy, you know, having to pay for cabs, the chariot race. I, I want to know what was the deal breaker for him. I feel like they were trying to be creative with those POV fighting shots when Hercules is fighting everybody in the shipyard and we just have like a shot of his fist and then someone running and it was just definitely didn't need it and then even we have that at the end of the chariot which was a bit disorientating because he's suddenly driving this mad chariot going down the middle of the street in New York City which I 100% feel like that happened I don't know what clearance they needed to get to make that happen and who would have recognized him if anybody would have seen him or if it was just another day in New York City I have no idea Zeus is never gonna win uh, father of the year but the fact that he watches Hercules through this like crystal globe and he sees his son struggling and struggling struggling and gets mad when people send him help and gets mad when somebody you know does something behind his back and he wanted to send him to be punished for a hundred years and he's like why are you doing this like stop helping him just let him figure it out on his own and then Hercules is finally able to defeat the gangsters and then he's like you know what we should do now we should go hang out at the Empire State Building because I haven't been there it was just like no need to wrap up the scene no need to explain like the gangsters are all dead now I'm assuming like what is going on I thought maybe Hercules would stay in New York it seemed like he was enjoying himself he had defeated the gangsters now he was spending time with Helen I don't know if that was gonna go anywhere he had his buddy so I was not expecting him to just suddenly change his mind and be like you know what I'm good I'm gonna go home I don't know if there's other Hercules movies where it's like Hercules in LA or if they try and just send him to other various cities and do random athletic feats there. I'm not sure why Hercules would even want to go home. It sounds like everybody was against him except for his like two friends basically. Juno is trying to have him you know stay on earth forever, take away his divinity so that he'll be mortal forever and she sends Nemesis after him to poison and drug him basically so that he is temporarily mortal. I don't know why he'd want to be returning to a place where people are actively trying to take away his you know, half god status. I think it's interesting that these are the experiences they chose to give Hercules on his first trip to Earth and his first time in New York. They're like, what should he do? You know, who should he encounter? What is this gonna look like? Well, he should become best friends with a pretzel guy. Uh, there should be a lots of fights. He should show up some college kids at Discus and, you know, other track and field events and brag about his Olympic status. He should go on a chariot ride. He should wrestle a bear in Central Park. He should, you know, lose a strongman 
competition. He should run into some gangsters. Like just, I wish I could have been in that meeting and just figured out where they thought this was going and what they were trying to convey in their minds. Like, is the message, you know, stay away from New York City gangsters? Like, what are they trying to tell us with this movie? And the fact that he kept referring to himself in third person, he's like, Hercules doesn't have money and Hercules doesn't know this. It was just, he was just so convinced and everybody seemed to just be letting him do his thing. They're like, okay, you want to think you're Hercules? Go for it. Like, who are we to tell you wrong? Except for the guys on the ship gave him like the hardest time. They were like, okay, well, what's your last name? He's like, Zeus. Okay, well, we'll put you down as Hercules. Hercules Zeus and like oh, what's your station what boat did you come off of and of course Olympus just happens to be the name of a ship so it works out but that's it that's basically where the inquiries stop and Helen just thinks he's funny and goofy and making weird jokes all the time when he's actually like being serious and Prezi finds that novel and is you know reading up on the history of Hercules and he's kind of like oh okay maybe you actually are Hercules and the ending just proves that Zeus is just such a hypocrite he scolds Hercules for going down to earth and then as soon as he finds out what earth is like he's like you know what actually i'm gonna go so now hercules is back at mount olympus and zeus is gone again just doesn't even want to be around his own kid he's like you know what you're here so i'm gonna leave again you disobeyed me and now i'm gonna go hang out on earth and you can just stay at mount olympus with people who were trying to kill you overall i enjoyed it it was definitely a bad movie but uh, still very funny just because i think of arnold's personality and the way he performs and just so bad, so static, and just the way he delivers his lines, I just found really funny and just such a random movie that none of it made sense. But again, if you go into this with a very open mind, you'll probably enjoy it just because of the fact of how ridiculous it is. If you're into the world's worst bear costume, random shots of New York City, a very dedicated hot dog stand guy chasing you down with onions, car chase scenes, gangsters, random villains that show up out of nowhere. So many ridiculous one lines, badly written, badly acted, but that was definitely what I was expecting. So it definitely didn't disappoint in that aspect. But thank you so much for sharing in this first time watching with me. If you have any other suggestions for sci-fi movies you think I should watch, please comment below. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel and check back often for more awesome content. This ball is gonna show him where he is on Earth. And now he's just turning the shipyard into his personal gym. Now get in the cab with this nice pretzel, man. Is he actually that strong? He just flipped a whole car. Cue the Greek music. We gotta go. Oh, he's slapping him. Bear slaps. Okay. Does Mount Olympus have film developing? Four candles placed around the corners. This guy dresses Tarzan. It's like, I'm stealing a chariot. Enjoy your hot dog.